Hey guys, today I'd like to show how I cleaned the oil bath air filter on this engine. This engine is a Wisconsin Motors PH 4D industrial engine which powers a large commercial leaf vacuum. When this engine came in, it wasn't running at all and the spark plugs had thick black deposits on them. The diagnosis was that uh, the engine was not getting sufficient air from the air filter causing incomplete combustion. The air filter on this unit, as I said, is an oil bath type air filter. In this top part right here, the air comes in through the bottom and large debris falls into this container. The air then goes down through this tube, down through the center here, down to the oil bath right here. This is filled with oil up to this line right here, the same type of oil which is in the engine crankcase. This oil catches dust and other contaminants in the air. The air then goes up through this section right here in which there is a thick wire mesh or kind of a uh, steel wool, kind of a thick steel wool material, and then up into the engine. In order to clean this air filter, first I dismounted the top pre-filter and the bottom oil bath. The oil had quite a bit of contamination in it, including a thick kind of sludge material down at the bottom full of contamination. The main body of the air filter came off easily enough with just three bolts and two hose clamps on the hose which attaches the air filter to the engine. I cleaned the main filter body and the oil cup at the bottom using Simple Green Industrial Cleaner and Degreaser first in a shop sink using a couple of uh, brushes of various sizes. I then soaked the oil cup and the main body of the air filter in a solvent. I used gasoline and uh, diesel. This was uh, some gasoline and diesel uh, mixed which was contaminated and uh, which I kept around to use as a solvent uh, for jobs like this. After coming out of the solvent I soaked it by the way, I soaked it for about 10 minutes. After coming out of the solvent, I thoroughly washed the whole uh, air filter and then I let it dry overnight. The next day, I reassembled the air filter onto the engine, filled the oil cup at the bottom up to that, the line I showed earlier with the same type of oil in the engine crankcase, and then the engine ran quite well. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. Please consider subscribing to see my future videos.